Breaking news. Appeal court told to stop Tinumbu's inauguration. Welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to the news. But please endeavor to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. A fresh motion on notice seeking to stop the inauguration of Bola Tinumbu as Nigerian's next president on May 29 has been instituted at the Court of Appeal in Abuja. The suit marked CA slash CV slash 259 slash 2023 was initiated by Ambrose Oruru who is a past presidential candidate and constitutional lawyer who ran for the democracy for, pardon who ran for the presidency under the platform of the Hope Democratic Party in 2019 listed as respondents in the motion on notice at the president at the president's major general Muhammad Dupuari retired the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, and the Independent National Electoral Commission, Heineck, as forced to touch respondents respectively. Oburo, in the suit, is praying the Court of Appeal to prohibit President Buhari, the Attorney General of Federation, and INEC from inaugurating the 2023 president elect on May 29, claiming that he was the valid winner of the 2019 election and had not spent his tenure as required by law. Consequently, he is seeking to stop any other move towards the inauguration of Tinumbu or anybody else as a successor to Burari. Among other things, Oruru maintained that Burari had been supping his tenure of office since 2019 because the Supreme Court had not determined his petition filed in 2019, wherein it challenged Burari's victory. In his motion on notice, marked CVA CV 259-2023, Oruru applied for an order of prohibitory injunction compelling Burari, AGF, and INEC, their servants, agents, and privies to preserve and give due cognizance and abstain from any further undertaking or engaging in any act of usurpation of a judge acquired constitutional rights and mandates as the winner of the 2019 presidential election. He also applied for another one, placing on notice that any form of inauguration organized by Burari on May 29, 2023 remains and is viewed as an interim placeholder administration arranged pending the hearing and the termination of his substantive appeal on the constitutional interpretation thereof. The motion is supported with an eight paragraph affidavit praying the court of appeal for an expeditious hearing before the inauguration of Tinumbu. The affidavit the post to by an Abuja based legal practitioner Adebayo Anofowode and filed at the Court of Appeal in Abuja expressed apprehension that Oruru suits against Burari would be rendered nugatory unless given a quick hearing. It read in parts that the applicants Oburu is the adjudge first in time constitutional winner 
of the February 16, 2019 presidential election reserves the right of first refusal over any later presidential election returns in the face of usurpation of adjunct acquired constitutional rights. No date has been fixed for the rearing of the suits yet. The ex-presidential candidates of the Hope Democratic Party in 2019 has written a petition against the against Barari, Einek, and also at the general of the Federation. He is claiming that in 2019, when the presidential election was done, he actually won the election and he went to seek legal redress that the court is still on his petition. So why would they want to inaugurate another president elect when he is surely the winner in February 19, 2019? Now the question now is, why is it coming up with the issue now? After eight years of Buhari's tenure, whereby the court did not say anything concerning his petitions. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? Do share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.